Hello, this is Modern Monday, episode 35, and here I have Dragon's 135th go Jagdpanzer 4 L7DB. This is a Jagdpanzer 4 late with a long barreled 75mm gun as found on the Panther. This kit comes with two in one, one, one with Zimmer and one without Zimmer. So it comes with two upper hulls and two lower hulls, one with Zimmer and one without. Starting off, here is a lower hull without Zimmer it. All the weld seams on the entire kit are amazingly detailed. There are rivets and bolts on the bottom. And finely replicated welds everywhere. And now for the lower hull with Zimmerit. Now this is a bathtub style hull and it appears that both of them are identical regardless of the Zimmerit. The Zimmerit does seem a little bit shallow which can be a little bit disappointing, although I do think it's okay. Next is the upper casemate part with Zimmerant. It looks very nice, actually. Rather than just straight lines, it has some not perfectly straight lines and different slightly different pattern variations as if it were done by hand. Here on the front, you can see just how shallow these are. And that can be an issue for some people. Now the gun mantlet. And here is the casemate without Zimmerit. So you can just put your own Zimmerit on here if that's what you want to do. If you don't like the kid's Zimmerit, which is completely up to you. And now the mantlet without Zimmerit. And here are some fender parts. All right, now onto the rest of the kit. Starting off with some of the wheels. Here we have the drive sprocket and idler wheel. Final drive assembly return rollers, C-hooks. These are all very nicely molded with great detail. And you have two of those sprues, as well as two of these sprues. These are all the wheels. So the Jagdpanzer IV, if I'm correct, had mostly rubber rimmed wheels, although some in the front and I believe some in the back were also uh, steel rimmed. This was to help with the recoil and weight distribution of the vehicle. Here you can see some of the suspension. And like I said, there are two of these sprues, one for each side. Next, we have parts for engine deck and other outside details. Rear plate. Fender edges. Everything there is very nicely molded. And here we have some of the more larger pieces. Another part of the gun mantle it with Zimmerit. And then the other part of the gun mantle without Zimmerit has very nice casting numbers with L70 written on it with that, that being the specific kind of gun this vehicle is mounted with. And speaking of the gun, here it is. One piece slide molded, a very small seam line with the right filling in the barrel. And here we have the casement roof. Some versions of the Jagdpanzer IV lates were fitted with side skirts, 
This is an option in this kit, and not all vehicles in real life were fitted with them. These are nicely molded as one piece, although in real life they would have been five, four. But there are nice bolts on them, and they attach like you would see on any other smaller tank destroyer from Germany. And the last few sprues are just some of the other details. There are two of this sprue, turn rollers, um, suspension where they mount onto the vehicle. And lastly, there are two clear sprues with periscopes. And I almost forgot these other details, jack, and some other tools, and these wheels. Lastly, there is this. I believe these are the rims for some of the wheels. And now the decals. Now this kit comes with one decal sheet and a small photo etch fret. Here is the photo etch, engine, grill grates, uh, tail lights, and some other small details. And the decals for a few vehicles. All right, now on to the instructions. As per usual with these Dragon kits, you're starting off with the wheels, then the rear plate, there are two different options for exhausts, an early and a late version. Then attaching the wheels and suspension arms to the lower hull. Again, you have the choice with Zimmerit or without Zimmerit, or you can make your own Zimmerit. Adding more details to the rear plate and adding the front plate. Adding fenders and some other details now onto the Engine deck in step 10, gun assembly in 11, 13, adding the casemate again with the Zimmert option. Then the top of the casemate. Then just attaching everything together. Side skirts are optional. And here are the paint schemes. One for the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division, Western Front, 1945. One, per, one for Budapest, 1945. One for Warsaw in 1944. And another one for Hungary in 1945. I almost forgot, uh, this kit does come with uh, Dragon's vinyl tracks. For some people, these are amazing. Others despise them. It's up to you. Although they do look like they have very nice detail. I'm not entirely sure if the guide horns are supposed to be hollowed out. I think it depends on earlier or late modifications, but other than that, these look very good. So yes, I would very highly recommend this kit to anyone. I think I'll be building it as a destroyed tank. I'll post a picture of my inspiration on the screen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.